What are some of the um, awkward, uncomfortable, terrible things that have happened to you on set? Mm, oh, gosh. Ooh, that actually reminds me of, like, of something I definitely want to talk about okay. before our time is up today. Okay, great. Um, that actually will lead into it very well. So two issues of kind of consent. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the just awkward, funny things was uh, there was a girl-girl scene I was doing. We were in 69, and uh, she definitely farted, but it was like a silent but deadly fart. <laughs> Oh, no. And oh, I'm no. such a professional. I said nothing. I just kept the scene going. I didn't laugh. I said, yeah. And, but when I, when someone puts that scene out there, like, I just, you know, it's a very, it's a funny memory. It's a good little. Do you like think about that when you see her? Did she acknowledge it at any point? No. Yeah, I guess. How do you bring that up? Like, yeah. hey, did you notice when I farted in your face? Like, <laughs> I mean, like, nobody also, says anything. It's sometimes, coming. like, I don't know if we've all been there, but like, we've been in similar. If we, if you do this work, you've probably been in a similar situation. Like, I was on stage feature dancing, um, and I was, you know, just like I, I had my butt in some guy's face, and like I did like a roll, and as I'm coming over to the other guy, like I definitely farted in his face, and I really <laughs> hoped. It was fine. I have no idea because I quickly moved away. I just wanted him to think it was the guy sitting next to him. Uh, but but you was know. it loud or no? Okay. Well, it was probably audible, but like quiet enough. Like there's there's music going on. Yeah, you know. I feel like that. Like he could be he could be unsure. Yes. It's like was that a fart or was that like her latex or her boots? L- exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. so that's my my funny story from set. My like uncomfortable, horrible things that have happened on set. <laughs> um, I'm gonna skip over one. I was just gonna talk about. Okay, we'll, might... we'll talk about it off off camera. Off camera. But okay. the other two are pretty safe. So this was back in like 2017, 18, before all studios were very strict about the 14 day testing. Yeah. Uh, some studios back at this time were doing 30-day testing. There was a weird in-between where it was like some studios were doing 14-day testing and other ones were okay with Mm 28-day testing. And it was kind of like, yeah, yeah, it was a weird time. It was a weird time. So that was that time. And I was on set. We had all gone through makeup. Uh, It was me, a girl that was of similar notoriety to myself, Mm -hmm. and a, a whale. You know, mm-hmm. like a really, a really popular girl. A really popular. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I was like, oh, don't cancel me for that. And we had all gone through makeup. And then the director pulls me and the other girl aside and says, hey, um, she forgot to get tested. Technically, on your call sheet, it says 14 day tests, but you know, are you to, would you be comfortable doing the scene anyway? Because technically our company policy is 30 days. And I did not feel safe to say no because of who this, the girl who forgot to get tested was. Mm -hmm. Now this was, it was like a 17 or 18 day test. Like back then, actually not a big deal. Um, However, when you go to set and you're expecting everyone's going to be 14 day tested, it's kind of the principle of the thing. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was pretty horrible that to be put in that position. To be put in that position. Yeah. It is the onus of responsibility for testing and consent is on the producer director. Mm-hmm. And he never should have asked us. He should have sent her home, mm-hmm. regardless of how popular she was. And I think that's the thing is it's because of her popularity that she could get away with it. Yeah. So that's the sort of thing that I'm really glad has changed in the industry quite a bit. Is now that people are people in productions are so much more strict about. The 14 day testing, it doesn't matter how popular you are. Yeah. That's the kind of thing you will get sent home for. So that's one of those things that the industry think, has evolved with. And I think I everybody like. understands that now too. Like we're at a point now where people get that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that performer would understand, you know, that the test was late and yeah. that they need to go yeah. home. Right. I mean, my my policy, especially after COVID, was I had to get everybody's test the day before. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are doing that now. Yeah. And if you weren't cleared, even if like your test you know, because some girls would be like, oh, I'm getting tested like the day before or something. And then yeah. my test will come back You're like, day mm, of the shoot. That, no, that's not OK that because that test disaster. can come back next. Yeah. Come back. Positive. Or- positive. Positive. Yeah, bad, basically. And that has happened. Yeah. Um, And then you have to send them home. Just yeah. 